Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. There's more reaction content for you and today we are taking a look at Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Now, I only realized that this game existed because when I was prepping for to do some reaction videos, I was like, what games are coming out? So it's like Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed is coming out. And I'm like, the hell is that? Um, and it is an asymmetrical PVP style game. Think Dead by Daylight. There is four people that play as the Ghostbusters and one person that plays as the ghost. And the Ghostbusters are trying to stop, catch, and capture the ghost. And the ghost is trying to tell the Ghostbusters to get the fuck out. And I'm like, oh, okay. So we got, I th there's so many games that try to do this. which and, and I understand, I played a lot of Dead by Daylight. And Dead by Daylight had... A, it, Daylight, Dead by Daylight's a lot of fun, right? But Dead by Daylight is also very limited. But there's also lots of other games that are trying to break into this space. The most successful one really was Evolve, but then the developers ended up tanking that game, so Evolve's dead. Uh, well, not really, but that's a different conversation. But anyway, and then you've had other games that have tried it as well. You got like Friday the 13th, you have Predator Hunting Grounds, VHS, or Video Horror Society that is currently in early access. And so there, there's people that are trying to do this. And I, to, you had the Evil Dead game as well. And so many are struggling to find ground in this space and i don't know what is causing some of them to succeed and others to fail um but you know i, I people are still trying so maybe they'll find success somewhere along the way there but this is ghostbuster spirits unleashed i don't know much else about it beyond that so it's time for us to learn about what it is so let's go yeah we saved the world a few times but between that, we provided a needed service to the masses. That's where you come in. We're passing the torch, or better yet, passing the particle thrower, giving you the tools. Now let's see if you have the talent. Keep your there goes the copyright. And your equipment charged. We're a team working together to watch each other's back. Now I know you're still a ghost-busting trainee, but there's much more here than meets the eye. Take a look at this. You have the chance to see firsthand what exists on the other side. <laughs> Catching ghosts is only the half of it. Slimer! So you want to play as a ghost? I'd like to see you try to take on my team. I like, you know, it was a very flashy trailer. It had a lot of energy to it, but I feel like it it really struggled to give me an idea of what this game is. So we got two bits of gameplay though that'll help alleviate that. We have the first preview that IGN received of this game back in March. Um, and then they actually had three minutes of gameplay for this game that was shown off at Gamescom back in August. So we'll take a look at the earlier gameplay footage first and see if it looks different from the more recent footage. So it kind of feels like prop night. Trappings characters and references to cross well one of the things also there is that you know it, it, it depends on who's the in control really right make something distinctively ghostbusters what it really needs is to be just a little stupid in a good way and in ghostbusters spirits and get her ray i suspect really Bonic may have nailed the exact flavor of good stupidity i was looking for from a four-person cooperative Video's quiet. ghostbusters game keep your head up and your equipment charged like all good comedy the ghost fights in spirits unleashed need some structure first in my hands-on session, I'm dropped into a map called the Museum, with three comrades to, of course, bust a ghost. The ghost's job, meanwhile, is to escape our capture and thoroughly haunt the museum before we can stop it. I'm armed appropriately with a proton pack and a PKE meter I can swap between, as well as a ghost trap I can toss on the ground for ghost capturing, though if I don't remember to pick it up when I'm done, I won't have it at my disposal for the next ghost encounter. In the early parts of the match, our PKE meters start to blip, 
but they might not necessarily be indicating the ghost itself. The ghost can haunt different objects, sending chairs flying across the room or creating other eerie, ghastly effects. He's also protecting three rifts hidden across the museum that we'll need to destroy with our proton packs if we want to win the match. As long as there's still a rift up, the ghost can use it to respawn if we manage to capture and trap it. But if we find and blast the rifts apart, the ghost is toast. But more than trying to evade capture, the ghost we're after is here on a mission. He's here to haunt. As I experienced in my later match on the spectral side, ghosts can win by scaring away all the innocent bystanding civilians roaming the map. Civilians are easily startled, so ghost abilities like sliming or sending out smaller ghostly minions are freaky enough to do the job, or they can just go in for a direct attack. Get me out of here! Fortunately, the ghost doesn't have unlimited scare power. Every ghostly ability costs them ectoplasm, which must be rejuvenated eventually by possessing an object for a period of time, rendering the ghost more vulnerable to capture. Especially if he, as one of my opponents did, possesses an innocent mop bucket and then scoots rapidly across the floor in a goofy attempt to escape our grasp. For Don't worry about the minute, it, okay? Catching the ghost is just a secondary objective. Since our opponent can respawn as long as there's a rift around, we're stalking around the museum, PKE meters out, looking for rifts to destroy and calming down any concerned civilians we run across. But the ghost isn't giving up rifts easily. Our attempts to close them result in chaotic, colorful firefights as the ghost belches slime and sneakily disables our proton packs from behind. Our proton packs are powerful and can, with enough focus, grapple the ghost for a period of time to drag it into a trap but they're appropriately unwieldy and deliberately hard to aim, resulting in plenty of familiar Ghostbusters moments where we're all waving our guns wildly around one another, trying to latch onto a ghost. I don't feel like we've seen very many actual ghost abilities. Like she's commented on stuff like, oh yeah, th belt, belching slime and stuff. And I feel like all we've seen is him just kind of go, <laughs> And civilians begin scattering out the doors. All of the matches I played during my demo time culminated in a frantic final few minutes where the Ghostbuster team sprinted through the museum to track and trap the ghost, pinging map locations where it was spotted and yelling gleefully into the microphone as we awkwardly tried to blast it down from a distance. Meanwhile, with nothing left to distract his pursuers, our resident ghost has to stay alive long enough to find and scare away the final civilians with its limited energy stores, all while faced with an increasingly aggressive squad of Ghostbusters. I'm proud to say I did manage to win my match alone as the ghost against a team of developer Ghostbusters. <laughs> largely by aggressively haunting every boring inanimate object I ran across until the whole museum looked like a very gooey magic show. So after just a few bouncy rounds with the single preview map, Ghost and Powers, I'm hopeful that the full game's emergent silliness will make playing it with my friends sticky, fun, and yes, a little stupid. I exactly never want to play want something that's sticky with my friends. I'm just gonna Ghostbusters. just gonna say that right now. I don't I don't want that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna fast forward now. Uh, what five months? No, yes, no. May is the fifth month. August is the eighth month. So three months, and we'll see a little bit closer perspective. No punishment for crossing them. I mean, I don't know if there was or wasn't. No, 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 no. No, Athena, I don't know if there was or wasn't a, a punishment in the game for it. Still only seen the one ghost so far, right? Well, in terms of gameplay, Eve, 
we've we've seen like in like little cinematic shots other ghosts but in gameplay we've only seen this purple guy like i commented earlier we saw slimer but we didn't see slimer playable Man, it looks like you can almost get straight bullied <laughs> as the ghost. I also, I like, okay, I, I actually just answered my question. I was like, do you automatically lose if your wrists are lost? No, you can see right there, it says all wrists lost, no more respawning. So they not only have to get rid of all three wrists, but then they also have to capture you. And your only real goal is to scare all of the civilians as like to the point that it is a fully haunted building. So you're not actually concerned with the Ghostbusters themselves beyond trying to stay away from them. You can move your rift? Yes, you can move your respawn locations. So like just then, right there at the end, they were at the last rift. It's right there. And the ghost popped in, beat up the Ghostbusters, grabbed the rift and flew away with it. Okay. And they're at 75% haunt, so they only have 20% 20, 20 at that point left to finish scaring it, but they're down to one rift. Okay. Man, I'd probably, I'd probably really want to go find some more longer gameplay. Here's one of the other things that is an issue with this, okay? And it's that when I can... I try to, for the sake of information, find the purchase page for these games, okay? Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed is $40. It is not on Steam. It is on the Epic Game Store, okay? And to some people, that means automatic no. Not touching it. I will not touch it because it's it's in, it, it's in one of the games that Epic Game Store, you know, went on to that, on, with that path, right? And there are pros and cons to the Epic Game Store in terms of like dev funding and stuff like that. That's not what we're, what we're here for conversation for. But what we are here for a conversation for is the Epic Game Store as a platform for games like this doesn't seem to be a very healthy choice, okay? And what I mean by that, the last major release of these style games, of an asymmetrical 1v4 PvP style game, was Evil Dead the Game where one person is controlling one of the evil entities from the evil dead and everyone else is controlling the survivors such as Ash. And that game was exclusive to the Epic Game Store and then was also on consoles. But the game being on the Epic Game Store really seemed to hurt the PC release a lot. And the game just went Whoa! and plunged down in terms of popularity, attention, and, and just in every way. And I'm worried that that will happen with this as well. Not because I, I just genuinely want this game to do well, but because it's a trend that we keep seeing with this, of especially these multiplayer games that are not getting a ton of marketing or a ton of media attention that end up being exclusive to the Epic Game Store and people go to the Epic Game Store for things that they already want that are exclusive to the Epic Game Store, not they don't discover new things on the Epic Game Store the way they do with like the Steam's homepage where you see like these big flashy releases or you can check the the new releases or what's selling well and stuff like that. So you don't get as many impulse purchases off of the Epic Game Store that you do with Steam. And I feel like that hurts these games not just on their initial release but also 
the longevity that they can potentially have. And I understand that the Epic Game Store is trying to compete with Steam in that regard, but it just, it feels like it hurts the games that might otherwise have a significantly better chance if they weren't locked under those circumstances. But in general, I like the way the game looks. I like the way the game sounds. I like the, the, the gameplay mechanics of it. Um, uh, personally, Epic Game Store makes me not immediately want to go after it because of the reasons that I just got done stating. So that's Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed. There is significantly more gameplay out there if you wanted to see longer matches as there have been people that have had access to it to where they were able to play it and share larger portions of gameplay than what we just took a look at. But there's a lot that is, is appealing here and I hope that it continues forward in that regard because personally, as much as I love Dead by Daylight, Dead by Daylight needs some legitimate competition. Like, it needs serious competition because too often do, does it feel like Dead by Daylight is just resting on its laurels because nothing is actually forcing it to, to do anything because it doesn't have any legitimate competition in this genre of video games. And so something needs to give it some competition to force them to innovate or force them to feel as though they are being challenged in one way or another. I would like, to, I don't care what it is, right? I don't care if it's Evil Dead the game, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, whatever, right? Just make something compete with them so that either we get better games that are competing with Dead by Daylight that end up being successful or Dead by Daylight turns into a better game out of necessity. So that's Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to keep the conversation elsewhere, two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter. And speaking of Discord, we actually have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can place links of your own that we can watch together live on stream because we do stream four days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do watch one of the other videos on the channel or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy.